welcome to another recap of American Idol. It's the results show, and first I have to give a shout out, a happy birthday shout out to LG Forever 1808. Tara, happy birthday. Hope you have a fantastic day, March 12th. All right, so let's get down to business. Randy, Ellen, Carl, Simon, all the judges. Too bad they don't do anything at this point of the show. They're just figureheads. So four people are leaving, and the production department put together a really cheesy photo of Randy's head on top of Bikini Boy's body. I don't know. It was. It must have taken them all of three seconds to do that in Photoshop. The neck didn't even match. They could have put a little tie on him. Would have been better. All right, so the group song. Why do they continue this? Don't you listen, American Idol. They ruined Michael Bublé's hit, Haven't Met You Yet. It was incredibly cheesy. I think the only people who probably enjoyed it were the Brady Bunch kids. <sighs> What's up with that? What up with that? All right. So what is up with Paige Miles' onesie? I've seen her wear at least two onesies already. Is she a toddler? Does she have a diaper on under there? Grown ass women should not wear rompers. It's not cool. All right, so the first theme we find out is going to be the music of the Rolling Stones. I'm very psyched for that. All right, let's cut them loose. First one to go is Caitlin Epperly. I pretty much expected that. Um, she's young, though. She's got plenty of time to work on her craft. Uh, she needs a little more conviction, I think. Second to go, Todrick Hall. I was pretty much expecting that, too. I mean, he hasn't been consistent uh, since Hollywood. Uh, he's not idle material. I don't get that vibe off of him. I get drama kid, Broadway kid off of him. There's nothing wrong with that. Someone's got to be on Broadway. If you've got a Broadway voice, there's no shame. All right, time for a little comic relief. Uh, do you remember Matt Gerard and Scott McIntyre? Now, don't get me wrong. I love these guys on their season. They did a little duet. Uh, Billy Joel, tell her about it. They had dueling uh, digital pianos up there. My husband turns to me after all the hooting and hollering and goes, It's a little self-indulgent, don't you think? <laughs> I almost fell on the floor. He's so freaking funny. All right, it was a train wreck, hurtling out of control. Let's just say I see why they didn't win. It, it was a little self-indulgent. Uh, it's a good thing nobody's voting tonight because they'd probably be off tomorrow. All right, third to go. Cut him loose, Alex Lambert. I'm pretty surprised, I have to say. But Ellen's right. Uh, I'm going to have to agree with Ellen. He just needs some more experience out there in front of people performing. I mean, you can have a great voice, which he does, but if you can't share it with everyone, what good is it? All right, the last one to go. The fourth of the fourth cut. Now, this is a shocker. When they announced Lily Scott's name, I almost fell off the sofa because I was convinced that it was going to be Katie Stevens, and I think uh, Lily Scott thought so, too. I'm just a little shocked. It's either one of two things. Either people thought that uh, they didn't need to vote for her because they thought she was safe, or she's just a little bit too quirky for America, which is a shame because she's very talented. And I think she definitely has more um, talent and star power, quality, whatever you want to call it, than Katie Stevens. No offense, Katie, but I think Lily got robbed. Anywho... It's the top 12 next week. Till Tuesday, much love.